Glover was the first one to me who's such and such done it. Da, 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 da. And he said it was um, Noidman and Collier. Billy Collier. So I took any notes of him. I listened to him, obviously. But I took any notes from him because he's got a fucking war gun with the same fucking people where we were keeping them separate from I was, you know what I mean? Yeah. He's just an in law. Um, but then somebody else came into the muse who I trusted and said he'd been in the pub, the Blue Man pub, and Billy Collier had been in there boasting about what he'd done to the grief. Now, this was their little local pub where they lived, yeah. next to their estate. So then I knew what Glover had been saying was the fucking truth. So I thought, right. I get to two heavies, two people who could handle ourselves. I says, come on, me, pick me up in the morning, I want a fucking battle of this cunt. So, so, I says Glover then, because I believe what he says. I says, do you know where he lives? He went, aye, we're talking about Noidman, not Collier. He says, aye. I says, come on, me in the morning, just show me where he fucking lives. And I did take Glover with us that morning, just to show us where Noidman fucking lived, because I lost me fucking back, they've done the fucking gravestone. Somebody's getting fucking hurt. One morning we were waiting at Noidman's house. We were passing a shop and Glover just shouted, Stop the car, stop the car, there's Collier. So how's the fucking brakes on? Thinking, what's he fucking, what, what's going on? And before you, he was at the door, he's in the fucking shop and he's got all the fucking bleak Collier. With another one involved yeah. with the fucking gravestone. I thought, right, fucking, was on with, do you know what I mean? Get him in here. So I hid him in the fucking back of the motor. I drove back along the road, took him into the backyard of fucking Glover's house, where Glover lived. I went, right, you've done the grave? No, no, no. I said, are you not? Because that thought be true. And uh, he was like this. I said, and I just went to give him a fright. This wood was rotten. So I smashed it next to his fucking leg, just to give him a shock. Didn't hit him. Hit the, hit the concrete with it. But it broke, it was rotten. The wood broke. And he just went, and he tapped his head. As I was doing that, Glover tried to hit him with a gas bottle because when he seen me going to hit him with a 4B2 I wasn't hitting him with a 4B2, I was just giving him a shock it to make him talk um, Glover hit him with a gas bottle, I tried to and I stopped the fucking gas bottle what are you fucking doing? because uh, he was talking, you know what I mean? Yeah. so I said right, tell us everything and that's all I wanted I just wanted him to tell me everybody who was involved and who would put them up to it and he was, he was talking I went fucking great, fucking great. So, we get back in the motor. What, their car was, my pal's car who come with me was parked down in the estate for the doing. So we drove down there to drop them off to get the car. And I says to uh, Scott and Glover, take him into this house where a woman who I knew, who I trusted, called Debbie. I took her to the hall and Debbie come out. I said, Will you, can you stay here? I'll just come back for five minutes. And she went, I need bother. So Glover, Collier and Scott got out the fucking car and walked into Debbie's house. So I was going to get my brother because I wanted my brother to listen to um, what Collier's just telling me who was behind it and whatnot. And I wanted to go and fucking do something proper naughty that I need to watch. And I wanted one of my brothers to come with us to drive the motor. Do you know what I mean? So I just wanted to listen to what he fucking says how we put them up to it. Yeah. That's the reason I've, and I've left. Of course. So when I get to my brother's house, um, he says the fucking helicopter's up there and everything. Fucking stay away from the door because there was panics all over. And so I thought, oh God, he was with the helicopter. I was there above us. So I drove along my house, where I lived, made a couple of phone calls, and then I went back to the house where I'd dropped them off at, Debbie's. Yeah. And when I went back to Debbie's, they went, oh, they're not here, they went along the flat. She says, well, you were spitting fucking blood all over. So they've took me along to uh, Cavey's flat, they took me somewhere else. Yeah. Um, and when I went into that flat, they've already fucking done them. He was already tied up in the corner of the floor when I walked in. I said, where's Glover? She, he says, he's just left. Um, Collier was sat tied in the corner. He said, Paddy, I'll tell you any, I'll tell you anything. I thought, I know you will, son. He was already seeing this when I fucking left him. This wasn't supposed to have fucking happened. What's yeah. going on here? I didn't know what the fuck to do, to be honest. I was shocked. And then Scott lay an hour and he went off, pulled over his teeth foot. I thought, brother, just heard there. Do you know what I mean? 
There was some Frankie Fraser. Listen, man, listen, man. Well, I know I'm fucking what uh, the rich situation I've got with authorities. I now for I'm prepared to go on this fucking day. When I went out that day, I'm going to butter people. I'm prepared to get nicked. Do you know what I mean? I'm not taking it any further than smashing people's fucking faces in. Yeah. Nothing more's happening that day. None of this was planned. I got hold of Scott Waters when he lent her and said that. And I looked at Billy Collier and I couldn't see any of his teeth missing, to be honest. And I thought, he just fucking, what I just fucking heard? Do you know what I mean? So I says to the kid who was there, Go and get my brother over from the next block. Somebody I trusted again. You know what I mean? Like I thought I'd left him with a woman who I trusted, yeah. but they weren't there when I went back. Um, because I knew Glover was another. That's why I needed somebody to trust. So um, I said, Go and get my brother in law from the next flat. So the kid got to get me brother in law. I said, Watch him for two minutes. Collie hasn't even been untied yet. I'm in shock. I'm a Kamucha AG to Scott. So I take some motor, I get some in my motor. I sit there, he gets in. I says, what did you just say to me? He says, he knew he was going to get wrong off us. He went, I just put the pliers on his teeth and it crumbled. Fuck. I went, no. Like that, no. Do you know what I mean? Because I couldn't see any broken teeth when he went out, when, when he's telling us. So, um, Collier is a smack head, and his teeth were all black, you know what I mean, with head of wind. Yeah, so, so probably has like just that. fucking crumbled, but... Still. So, and when I'm handling like that, turns me fucking head. There's a cop cop pulling up at the end, on us, who's looking for her. So I didn't even have a chance to get back in the fucking flat, to be honest. Yeah. I just had to take off there and fucking then, and take a chase off the cops. So, while I was getting chased off the cops, I says to Scott, I'm going to drop you off along here and I'm going to take him for a run, ride around Newcastle. Uh, and I did, that's what I did, about 25 minutes, just, I was in the Range Rover. I said, you better get that back that flat now and you better tell him to get up that police station and tell him it wasn't fucking me and, you know what I mean? This is before I'm even fucking nicked. So I've dropped Scott off, took the chase off the cops for about 25 minutes, I'm just driving slow. Yeah. I had fucking six police cars behind us, an helicopter. And I'm just driving slow, running, 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 take me time. I took them out of BMX track. Yeah. Now the motorbike, the kids bring I could see them in the rear view mirror, coming out of the BMX track behind us, all of the big lumps that were hitting the fucking ceiling. I'm in a Range Rover, so I was doing it all right, you know. And I just let them arrest us after about 25 minutes. Straight reminded, so obviously. No, Collie, I come up the police station and says, well, I tell them, it wasn't me. Yeah. So he comes through at the police station and said it wasn't me. And then Glover, a week later, Glover went and fired a shot and <sighs> fucking no man, I know man. So that's when he went and um, made statements and that. So